Hi guys, it's Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome back to another tune in timeless tarot message. Thank you all for your patience. I know I have been gone for quite some time over a month over a month. I've been gone. I know <laughs> I'm well aware every time I tried to get situated and started things just popped in and um, you know, sometimes you have to go with the flow and allow life to happen for the lessons to be learned. And I learned a shit ton of them and I'm probably gonna be going live. Um, if it's not tonight, it's definitely gonna be uh, tomorrow, but I'll chat about my experience of where I've been. But for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, thank you. If you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. No, wait, yeah, bell twice so that you get all notifications. It's been so long, I forget. <laughs> been that long um but yeah i will definitely fill you in because i don't want this to be too long and i know that you guys just want the tune-ins back you're like tanya i want the tune-in messages back please bring them back they're back they're back guys they're back and they're better than ever <laughs> just kidding um so here's the thing um yeah i've been gone for a month um i will chat about the experience of what i went through but just so you guys have a little bit of a um side note of what happened um, I had to go back home uh, to New Jersey and I also went to Delaware to visit my um, parents um, and I kind of went on an adventure there to get my stuff that has been stuck in storage for over a year it's actually been in there for two years when I was going through a transition of a divorce and moving from one home to a temporary home but enough about that um, and then I wanted to get started uh, you know <laughs> last week and um, my dog got really, really sick and needed me um, while he was going through his transition to the other side. So um, I just needed to take that time. And uh, as much as I'm going to miss Baxter, my beautiful Basset Hound, um, which for those of you who are regular followers here, you could probably hear him scratching and me yelling at him. Um, he is definitely missed and man, you never know how an animal changes your routine in life and until you wake up in the morning and realize like you don't have to let the dog out in the morning um and i haven't had a dog i've had a dog uh, most of my life um but it's been a long time since i've been without a dog so i am definitely adjusting even though i have six cats and yes now i guess i i never took the crazy cat lady i never took the crazy cat lady title because I felt like I had dogs, so I can't be a crazy cat lady, but now I don't have my dog. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, oops, I mean, shit. I don't think I can say that either, but whatever. I probably just got demonetized. Um, who cares? Oh my God, I'm a crazy cat lady. So I'm here with six cats now. And on top of it, my roommate moved out as well. So I'm officially on my own in this house, which is a nice, feeling as well but it's all new um and it's just been a whirlwind of stuff so i will explain more later but let's get into the tune in messages let's see what's coming out here for the collective uh keep in mind we never know where these stories are going to go sometimes they're focused on love other times they're focused on more general things we'll see what the messages have to say you take what resonates and leave the rest do not force anything to fit Nine out of ten times, if you see the title and the title resonates with you, there's usually some kind of message for you. But if you want something more private and personal, those are really intended for the private sessions, all of which is in the description box below um, to book a private reading with me. All right, let's get started, Collective. We're already four minutes in, and I said I wasn't going to chit-chat personally, but it's been a while, and I missed you all. I did. I missed you all. Let's see what we got here. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for the collective. What's going on here? Man, these cards are just flying. They're just flying. Flying. Hold on. Oh, how fun. Ooh. We have the peacock. That just flew out. Beware of great pride. Next to the mountain, major challenge to overcome. egg success assured with good plans and hard work something is hmm and then we have beetle here which is good fortune some of you have been going there has been major there's major pride issues here okay i keep hearing my baby my baby my baby 
what's this my baby some of you have a lot of pride in going towards something that you really want um, but the obstacles that are in the way may be too much for just one person some of you have too much pride to ask for help interesting but there is fortune here on the other side of this mountain there's challenges on here but I feel like you're being asked not to do these challenges alone it almost feels a level of like listen um, you can have a birth of a new idea or a new adventure but you don't have to do everything on your own um, you see the challenges on there but it's almost like it's not that you're a show-off or egotistical it's just like I want I just keep hearing I want to do this on my own huh let's see what the tarot cards have to say here we go <laughs> we're starting off with the nine of Pentacles I mean can you get any more independent than this I feel like I am talking to an alpha who's just independent doing their own thing yeah we have the nine of swords reverse we have the ten of cups next to the high priestess energy the sun and we have the three of wands interesting okay so <laughs> you're gonna hold off on this i want to i want to look at the spread first these six cards The nine of wands, or the nine of wands, the nine of swords, which is air energy here, is usually being up at night and being like your own fears, okay? This is reversed. I feel for many of you, you choose to be on your own or do things on your own because to involve another person or individual feels like this. It's like, no, I can't do it. That means I gotta trust, I gotta trust, I gotta trust. But with the reverse, you got someone here, guys. I mean, you got the 10 of cups, so. <laughs> the 10 of cups is emotional fulfillment, happiness, love, but it's it's not, it, it doesn't have to be a partnership, but this feels very love. You have someone here that you see as family, as um, supportive, loving, um, you can trust this into per, you can trust this individual like i said it doesn't have to be love could be a family member because it is the ten of cups and it's fairly uh very family oriented but you're choosing to to not exp you're choosing to keep this person out and it's getting harder each day the high priestess energy of the secrets of the fortune teller <laughs> keeper of the secrets that she is is using her intuition right um being able to have the clear sight now here's the thing with the sun reverse the happiness of coming coming together what's happening is by cutting this person out or choosing to do something on your own you're actually causing yourself to be in a waiting pattern someone is not is waiting for the right time to come in the three of wands we're gonna validate these cards because i can't take the suspense it's like waiting for your ships to come in waiting to discuss the situation here with the ten of cups waiting 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 and if it isn't you it's somebody else because this could be in someone's vicinity to you okay now what's interesting about this high priestess is i feel like because it's because it's validating this nine of pentacles card and i'm considering you the independent person i feel like you have an inner knowing that you need to express yourself to an individual or get the help or desire you need to get through certain obstacles to get somewhere um so that you can get this fortune but it's you have someone here who could help you okay this could help you get through heartbreak it could be a solid relationship if it's not love this is just a partnership but you you know you intuitively know that this person is actually good for you but your pride's getting in the way and it's actually causing that sun moment not to come interesting 
I'm gonna validate these with the after throw cards and I do not do reversals on this. Here we go. Whoop, yep, not nah. Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, oh my gosh, the Emperor, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so there's an opportunity here. I do feel for a lot of you, th listen, the Knight of Cups here is drinking their own cup, okay? I feel for many of you, you've had situations where someone's been very selfish, um, has been emotionally fulfilling themselves, and it's like anything that approaches you with an emotional offer or even of help or desire is like, ugh, it's always about the other person. I don't know if I really want to go into it, okay? Um, you want fairness. You want something that's an equal give and take here, right? A balance. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, it's all about having that fair justice but balance, okay? Um, by being fair, it doesn't give you that nightmare stage here, okay? Um, but here's the thing. I feel like you have someone in your life who is balanced, who does give you an equal give and the take, um, who has been there, who has been there for you collective, even at your worst. Because the 10 of swords is being stabbed in the back, on the ground, dead. But here's the thing, when you hit that, you're, you're dead. So it can't get any worse. This person has been through there, through it all with you. They're literally carrying you out of the situation, okay? You intuitively know that there is a connection here with this person and you're being stubborn about it. ace of cups here bang look at that love look at that love it's literally being handed to you it's emotional fulfillment it's satisfying it's self-love it's evolving it's peaceful and then we have the emperor on top of the sun and it's like somebody trying to control a situation here okay look at this guy he's like looking at the sunlight oh my gosh i need to do something i know i need to open up i know i need to ask for help i know i need to open up to an individual to let them in it's bringing me unhappiness we have someone here who's got a lot of unhappiness here and they could be stubborn they could be older could be you Aries energy here, but this feels like somebody who's trying to control something too much at all costs that's actually making them unhappy. But there's an opportunity here, a stable opportunity for a new beginning. And look at that, there's that pinnacle. I feel like this person's gonna help you with your obstacles is going to have the opportunity to offer that to you but it, it it's so foreign to you and so new to you because you just don't have that trust i'm gonna ask one more question because i'm nosy spirit will this person gain the trust put their pride down open their heart and take this opportunity interesting we have the four of swords here which is all about rest and rejuvenation and i feel like especially with the sword here and i'm looking at the three swords up top here um you've been through heartbreak and everything again this person's been by your side again you, you talk to this individual all the time could be through text messages could just be through chatting this is somebody that um there's a lot of like commitment here in this level now we do have the king of pentacles here look how forlorn this king of pentacles looks it's kind of like what am i going to do with this coin do i take this opportunity do i take this opportunity you're still contemplating so i think there's this good contemplation of do i take this opportunity to get through this um, this obstacle could be just as simple as just going through and accepting and having an open heart. But for others of you, this is an ob obstacle, could even be worth work, where you're just not asking for help when there is an opportunity here, but you're still a little bit nervous about the situation here. The King of Pentacles is about nurturing, um, providing, 
um, has wisdom on there. They've been through it all, right? But they can provide at all times. And you already have that. It's just the ability to accept someone's help. It's ability to um, let someone in. I keep hearing just let someone in. Let's pull one more card though. One more card to wrap this up. Or two, because that's the way spirit works. <laughs> All right, so we got emotional loss, okay? Which is a five, a change. And we have authority reversed. So that's that emperor energy, okay? Putting your boundaries down. I just feel for many of you, it's blocking, afraid to have an open heart. This is a, is this a fear of opening your heart and getting hurt. This is definitely a fear of opening your heart and getting hurt because the emotional loss is, is, uh, is pain, right? So this is transforming them because it's a five and it goes from a four to a five and this was reversed. So really what it feels to me is that, you know, even with um combined, you get a nine is you're close to completion. I don't quite think that you're there yet. But it's allowing your boundaries to go to not control a situation and just having an open heart. That's what a lot of you need to hear is that it's okay to have an open heart. It's okay to even feel the emotional loss. It's going through it. It's not going to last forever. It's just a feeling, guys. You don't, you, your feelings don't um, give you the detail or description of who you are. You're not your feelings. They're just feelings. Allow them out, okay? But some, what happens to a lot of people is they hold on really, really tight because they don't want to feel that way because it hurts, it hurts, and they're actually creating more and more tension and it creates discontentment. It could even be health issues. It could be um, just dissatisfied. Um, but this feels the level of opening up your heart. You definitely have someone here who loves you very much. It feels like love. Um, and this is unconditional love. This is, doesn't have to be completely romantic. This feels like someone who loves you, supports you, and wants to be there for you, okay? You, they've seen you been through it all okay this person will support you all right guys if this resonated for you go ahead and hit like comment below don't forget to subscribe and it's good to be back and i will see you next time take care